Okay, welcome to Persian MMA. Uh, this is Mark Ezan speaking. Today we're going to go into an exclusive interview with the world's number one Persian fighter, Kamal, the Persi Prince of Persia, Chalorus. Welcome to our program, Kamal. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, it's, it's really a, a pleasure to have you here. You know, uh, I have, I've had so many emails from, from uh, Iranians all over the world asking me, uh, you, we have to speak with Kamal. He's, he's, he's the one carrying our flag uh, all over the world. And, and really so many emails and, and uh, people are really exciting about uh, you. And, and they want me to call you and, and see, uh, see how your preparation is going for the fight that is coming Tuesday. Of course, you're going to fi fight May 15 UFC on Fuel TV. And uh, uh, you're going to uh, meet uh, a Brazilian, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. His name is yes, I think Rafael. Rafael He's uh, Cortanos. Yes. What do you know about? Uh, yeah, Rafael is a great fighter. Okay. Have Have you been uh, doing? Uh, how is your preparation going? Have you been watching him? And yeah, actually, uh, yeah. Uh, for this training camp, I'm training in Virginia, VA. Okay. And I have a very good training. I'm ready, and my weight is good. And I have a, my uh, my coach is from Iran too. His name is Nima Mazari. He used to be world champion Kyo Cushing. So I'm training with those. These are and um, really, really, I'm excited for my fight. And um, you know, everything is good mentally, physically. I'm ready, hundred percent. You know. Okay. So this is a good fight for me, you know, it's a big challenge, but, you know, I'm ready for this. Okay, you, you said your coach is uh, Nima, from, he's, he's uh, Kushinka is, is uh, for those who don't know, it's, it's a karate style. So, uh, but w tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, uh, I think your background is, is in wrestling, am I correct? Yes, yes, I, I used to wrestle in, in Iran in junior national team. And then after that, I compete for British Olympic team for four years. I had a contract with them. And after uh, 2004, Olympic 2004, I uh, yeah, started to become MMA fighter. So, and then I started fight MMA, moved to Austin, Texas, and start my MMA career from Texas. Okay, so that's a, that's a quite an impressive background, wrestling background. Uh, is so is it is it yeah. fair to say that your 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 you feel safe in your wrestling and that's your that's uh, your your game plan evolves uh, around your wrestling? Yeah, the thing is, uh, this is everybody tell me I'm a wrestler, but I never use most of my fight. My win is with TKO, K KO, and I'm a striker. I like you know I like pound and pound, but this time. I have to mix it up. I have to use my wrestling because it's my sharpest weapon, you know. But the thing is, sometimes, you know, we are Iranian. We just, somebody pounds us, we get like, okay, let's do this. You want to pound the pound? Let's do that. <laughs> I'm that kind of mentality. But I hear you, my this friend. Time, yeah, I promise I'm going to use wrestling. You know, MMA wrestling is kind of different than wrestling wrestling because there's so much punching involved. Oh, okay. Wrestling is the feeling, you know, you touch and then you feel, you feel the weight. But MMA wrestling is kind of a little bit different, you know. But it's still the same. Wrestling, if you have a background, wrestling is going to help you a lot. Because you make a decision, you want to take the fight in the ground or you keep it stand up, you know. Okay. Of course, uh, for, for those who don't know, Iran is one of the greatest nations when it comes to wrestling. And many even say that wrestling comes from uh, Iran and, uh, you know, in the Olympics, Iran is, is usually takes a lot of medals. So it's it's uh, uh, now to my next question is how how is the support from back back home? Uh, you know your your uh, my, my oh mother, yes is it is it uh, are you are you in the well known are people know you about you in the in the newspapers in Iran, for example? Of course, of course. Uh, uh, actually, I went for Aden Oru to Iran visit my old mother, and then. Really, and I had a seminar for uh, kickboxing federation for country, and that so many people show up, like from all the state. And then really, my seminar was packed. And then people they had so much respect, so much hospitality. And then really, really, no, I feel more responsible to my country, my people. I have to represent good. I have to be good invested out for sport. You know, okay. I shouldn't bring you know in. Every situation in, you know, 
personality, skill-wise, you know, I have a big responsibility for my country. So that's why I want to do my best for my people, the Persian side, you know. I love my country, and then I do anything for my country. So that's all about, that's the matter. I understand, of course, yeah. that. But does that push a little bit pressure on you? And I also know that you, you lost your last fight. Uh, is it is it fair to say that you need to, it's a win fight? For you, it's very important to win this fight? Yeah, in my last fight, be honest, if I fight with Khabib Nurmagomedov 100 times, I'm going to win 99 times. Just that lucky offer God, he got me, and then I fell asleep. I had a good train, but, you know, this is the fight, you know. People, they say lucky punch. I say, no, it's not lucky punch. I have to be more careful, you know. Okay. But you know what? This is the fight. You don't know you're going to funeral or your wedding. That's two things in a fight happen. <laughs> I actually watched the fight and I say you were doing really great uh, until the, when you, when you get caught at the last round. So I I, I felt that yeah. you you know it it was it it was uh, yeah he, as you said it's a fight everything can happen. He was uh, somewhat lucky, but hopefully you're gonna do uh, uh, and we hope you're gonna do much better this time. By the way, I, I hear a lot of rumors uh, since I haven't been back in Iran. Is it, uh, MMA Iran illegal or or uh, what's the rules over there? Well, so we have a, uh, actually the pro fighting in Iran is illegal. You can do pro fighting. We have everything amateur. Okay. Like even we do boxing, we have amateur boxing. We don't have a pro boxing. Okay. But in Iran, we have a kind of similar to MMA, like Hanshu or kind of those stuff is near to MMA, but they don't do ground and pound. They don't elbow. They don't need a face. Like kind of uh, tank face, same rules in Japan, they used to do that. They, in Iran, they do that. I hope one day UFC come to Iran, you know, really, really, we have so many talent, so many great athletes in Iran. And I love to see one day Iran be number one, Iran be like Brazil, Iran be like America, you know, these people, they see so many Iranian fighters in UFC, you know. Yeah, for those of you and who are that's not... that's going to come. Yeah, for those of you who are not Iranian, yeah, you should... Yeah, that's going to come, and yeah. And I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to all do my best, my power, test this, this sport to Iran. And all the time, they already they ask me. I'm gonna have like 45 day boot camp in Iran. Teach the MMA to them. You know, help them, help the kids, help the young generation. You know, it's good. You know, there's gonna be so many gym opens, so many people come to train. People not gonna go to bad way. You know, this is awesome. I, I I can't ag I agree with you 100%, my friend. I think it's very important that you you feel responsible in a way for the younger generations coming up that you try to affect them in a positive way so they they keep at the positive side. So, but the the question is, uh, uh, you know, but, but but with the strong wrestling background, do you think most of the Iranian fighters in the future will be, will uh, will have wrestling as a base? Because this is what I think, and I think. Uh, as, as Brazilians, many Brazilians have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu background, and I think many Iranians, yeah. like American fighters, will have wrestling as a, as a base. And it's a very good thing because, as you said yeah. before, it's it's you decide where the fight is going to go. Is it going to the ground or is it going to be stand up? Do you agree? Yeah, but, so yeah, Iranians are very good in wrestling, and then uh, really that's a very strong base. I said. In MMA, 60%, maybe 70% is wrestling, good wrestling. And then we have a good, we, we are, all wrestling style is a different, you know, American, Russian, Turkish, and Iranian, we have a different style of wrestling. And then we have a good high crotch and then shoot from far game. And then I think that's going to be very good, very good to Iranian wrestlers. And then that that going to be bad news to all worlds. So the Iranian, the Persian fighter warriors are coming to, you know, to Atigan. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, my friend. So what about, uh, I, I know uh, that you are also aware of, or are friends with uh, Reza Madadi, who fought in UFC uh, in Sweden uh, recently. Do you know, of, are, you, are you in contact with any other uh, Persian fighters around the world? Oh, really? Uh, no, but Reza Madadi is one of the best Persian fighters. And he has a great personality, and then he's really, really like my brother. We 
he helped each other. He came with Tim Miller camp, and my fight team with Tim Miller, he came to Texas, has helped me three months, and I went to him, he just quite helped him. We like, you know, brother. Of course, there is so many people, they come in, but they're not Reza level yet. So he's uh, one of the biggest, at the moment, the Persian fighter. But of course, I have other friends, he's from Afghanistan, and he's like from Iran, his name is Nagin Wally. He's the heavyweight war champion kickboxing, and then he done three MMA fights, and he's going to come to big show. And then in two years, you're going to see big name. Ah, it's good, it's good. His name is Nagin and Wally. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna keep uh, tracking of him. Also, it's it's good that you mentioned the upcoming fighters. We're gonna we're gonna try to keep track with all of these fighters. What what about um, uh, what about yourself? What is your plans right now? If if you get a W, what what are your future plans? What are you are you going to uh, challenge anyone? My future anyone? plan. I'm gonna fight till yeah. You know you don't know in MMA. Some people they say in MMA are gonna fight five years, two years, three years. You don't know. After the big injury, I'm going to fight till I have healthy body, you know. If I don't have no injury, I'm going to fight. And my destiny, I want to get that belt. And then I see potential in myself, I will get it. And then after that, I want to be coach. I want to help the people. I want to help the old Iranian fighter all around the world, help them, give my experience to them, you know. That's my dream. Okay, it, it, it sounds very good, my friend. So I'm not going to take up uh, any more of your time. Thank you very much for the interview. And, and from myself and the Persian fans all over the world, we want to just say good luck on, on Tuesday, and we'll be watching your fight. Thank you so much, and thanks for your time. I appreciate it, brother. Be Thank you very much. Hopefully we can talk after the fight, Thank and it will be good times. Good luck on Tuesday, my friend. Anytime, brother. you welcome. Anytime you need a question, I'm open. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Bye. Bye.